Real estate agents call them looky-loos, people who visit a house for sale to snoop, not to buy. Now, as Nancy Chen tells us, thanks to the internet, house hunting has truly become a spectator sport. Sometimes real estate can seem a little unreal, which is just fine for Samir Mizrahi. This home is truly wild. Mizrahi runs the popular social media account Zillow Gone Wild, posting these see it to believe it homes to the shock and delight of his two million plus followers. A lot of mirrors. Oh, wow. Mirrors everywhere as far as the eye can see. How much Windex do they go yeah. through? From towering castles to underground bunkers and seemingly everything in between, what used to lie behind closed doors is now just a click away. Thanks to Zillow, the most popular online real estate marketplace. You never know what's happening in a home and like the exterior is normal and the interior is just old mirrors <laughs> or they've got a basement with, you know, a stripper pole and <laughs> lights. Zillow Gone Wild and accounts like it have exploded in popularity during the pandemic. With so many stuck at home, fantasizing about another home was irresistible. It's been dubbed Zillow surfing. That is, scrolling through the platform's 135 million listings, often with no intention of actually buying. A pastime Saturday Night Live highlighted last year. You need something new. New fantasy. Then you need Zilla. 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 This home in Wisconsin has been on and off the market for about five years, but got offers within just days of Zillow Gone Wild, showcasing its outdoors, indoors appeal. How would you describe this decor? Flintstones. It's very Flintstone style. Modern Flintstones. Dustin and Tessa Maher bought it sight unseen. We joined them as they experienced it for the first time. This is the wow, the first wow part. Oh my goodness. How did you hear about this listing? This Zillow listing, um, I, one of my mutual friends must have shared it, mm -hmm. and right away it caught my attention. Knowing it caught the attention of millions of others was a selling point for the Mahers, who plan on turning the home into a vacation rental property. But it also meant they had to act fast. Just more eyeballs on it and, and more social proof that it's, uh, it's an interesting house, and I think the Timing and everything was just uh, was right for this thing to, to sell quickly, and if we didn't buy it, someone else would have. Online curb appeal is certainly the new curb appeal, and what we have seen is agents really going out of their way to make their listing stand out online and to possibly make their listing go viral. Even if that means adding a little something extra in their listing, like cameos by a T-Rex or a medieval knight, says Amanda Pendleton, a Zillow Home Trends expert. So agents want their houses to go viral. It's free marketing for these sellers, right? You know, there is a right buyer for every single one of these homes, but that right buyer may not necessarily be in that particular neighborhood or city or even state. But when these listings go viral, suddenly uh, they're being viewed by potential buyers all over the country. So whether you're in the market for a tree house or whatever this is, with enough scrolling, a man's home really can be his castle.